And to Greg Martin and Rupert Cox. Thank you, Swaney. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Allianz Stadium in Sydney. We're into Pool D. And it's a Pacific clash between the double. They're looking to finish the series, one of those automatic qualification spots. And they're going to have to do without one of their best. Filippo Saturanga is unavailable this week after breaking his foot in Hamilton last weekend. So it's a start for Josezi Bumbati Ererenga in number 99. For Tonga, the captain, Sioni Tupo. And look for Atieli Pakalani, who's actually a former Aussie Sevens player, requalified for his country heritage. Tonga, and used to play here for the Waratahs on this field in Super Rugby. Former Wallaby fullback, Greg Martin, has joined me for this one. Fiji, what have you made them so far this season? Well, early on, pre-Christmas, they were great, but last weekend they only scored 16 tries. They gave away 12, so they had troubles both in attack and defence. Made too many errors, probably went a little bit too one out. They're switched on, and they want to be. It'll be Tonga, who will get us started. Running left to right, all in red. Fiji with... Savaloni Mothanathangi, one of their Olympic gold medalists. There's a big tackle coming in from that man, Pakalani, straight off the bat. Tupo trying to rip the ball off Nathungu, and there's an error and an advantage play here for Tonga. Good defense from them early on. Pakalani into contact. They'll go back for the knock on from Fiji. We were looking for some good signs from Fiji early to see if they were switched on, but. That's a similar action to last week with a lot of spilt ball in amongst the tackle. It's been a long time since these two sides have played. They haven't met in international rugby sevens at the elite level since the Rugby World Cup of sevens in Moscow in 2013. So, But they do play each other reasonably regularly in, in recent tournaments. Yeah. So an attacking scrum for... Tonga, they're going to work the short side here, looking to get the jump on one of the preeminent teams in Rugby Sevens, the double Olympic champions, Fiji, Fualalo at scrum half, through the hands of Huhui in his Rodney Tongataya, he's got plenty of size and speed as well, there's big Rodney offloads the ball off the floor, more good stuff here from Tonga, Fualalo, they're going to work this blind side again, Tamoe Falau, They've gone back the other way to Salsi Hui Hui, who gets up and goes again. They're all overloaded on this short side here at Tonga. They try to chip through, but Nathungu's alert to it, and it's a chance now here for Fiji. There is acres of space at Alian Stadium. And Fiji, with the rope dope are going to open up the try scoring here. Billy Paul. Yoani Temba with their opening try. Oh, well, Temba, he's the one who'll get the five points and he'll take the shot. But he had to make the 75 metre run. But the action was all down in their own 22. If you had to time again, you wouldn't try to chip from 10 metres out. Ball in hand. They had the numbers on the right hand side, Tonga. And then it was just simple. It comes to Temba. It wasn't even a foot race. It was just a jog, a quick stroll to the try line for their first try. Certainly Tonga dominating the first couple of minutes, but not coming away with the points. Yeah, he's an important player for them, Yuani Temba. Returned to Hamilton last week after missing the Cape Town event with injuries. Nathungu, the captain, sends it high. It's been dropped cold by Rodney Tonga Taya, so that's a give back for Fiji in a dangerous position. Oh, I'd love to make excuses for him, but uh, with the light, he's in the half light where the sun and the shadow uh, clashes. I'll make the excuse, but I'll leave it up to him to explain whether that's right or not, Tom Gatea. Yeah, he's played for Counties Monaco in the south of Auckland as Tom Gatea. But here we go, Fiji. Six times winners of the Aussie Sevens. They are the defending champions here. And they are going to work the short side. Easy does it. It's Bukayaro untouched around the post. The flying Fijians have two tries. Ah, yes. 
Well, he was ready for it. He signaled that he was going left. I think the Tongans knew about it, but they still couldn't uh, stop the simple dummy and the pace of Bukayaro. Have a look. He's got a man on his outside, also a defender. But the halfback, Tongan halfback, just couldn't cope with his uh, his speed. Nice, easy try. That's two in a row without doing too much effort. Well, they're still chasing their first gold medal on the series this season. It doesn't happen very often, this deep into the series without a win. Well, the one that hurt was the Hong Kong final. They were two scores ahead of Australia in that game to open the series. Yellow card and ended up losing a brilliant Australian performance. But Ben Gollings has said they've been working on their game management to try and close out games. Big handoff on Sione Tupo, who's no small figure himself. He goes in well to win the steal, but no, illegally done. So it was Tomatea who didn't roll away. Yeah, he's a bit late to it. Nathungu. Here's Mothanathani, the big long levers, the offloading game. Through the hands of Bukiyato. And the dream teamer now, Maison Moa, who is outstanding in Hamilton. And it is first opportunity here in Sydney. Ah, he brings his best stuff already. Not bad. Doing it easy at this stage, Fiji. Three passes across, and it was just a right foot step, man on man, and then the pace. My Samoa. Lovely try. Have a look at it. A tussle here. Gets rid of two. Locks in three defenders. And then my Samoa. So he had to sidestep, and then he had to shed a tackle. And then it was a foot race, and he won it easily. Yeah, you're right. In form in Hamilton and carries it through to Sydney. So still over a minute to go in this first half in this Pool D game. Fiji, three maximum scores. Bit of a shock. First up here for the Tonga. Tonga turns to contact. Pakalani just changes direction, but it's into the hands of Mbati. Oreiranga, the man in just his second event for Fiji. Inside ball. And Wazea Nathungu, one of the best support runners in the business, is on hand for number four. Came from panic. You look at the scoreboard, scoreboard pressure can be, can create panic like that. That was just a mad pass. Swooped on. Didn't have the legs. And then the try. Lovely stuff. Dominant first half. Dominance is the word. An extra couple from Nathungu to convert his own try. So, four maximum scores for Fiji. What a career he's had approaching 50 tournaments. Why say Nathungu? You think of the likes of Jerry Tuwai, who've been leading this side in that playmaking position for so long. He's here, Jerry, this weekend, not starting this match, but Nathungu's become the main man. Oh, yeah. That's why they put him, put him in. The uh, question marks over Fiji's commitment have been already answered. Clock's in the red. This is the final play of the first half. Can Tonga find something, anything, before they go to drinks here? John Ika scored the winning try when Tonga beat Great Britain in Hamilton last week. And that's he won two games at that event against Great Britain and pool play in Uruguay on finals day. So they finished fell into it very well for the invitational side but up against it here Ooh. against Fiji and there's a high hand off there you can hear the contact from up Come here out. they might have a look at this yeah the Tongans the most that. inexperienced team Get at the, the tournament board. they're learning all the time coming up yeah we're waiting for half Jimmy, I want to look at the dangerous tackle but the Fijians they look like they're they're back. Look at the Thank you. We'll look at the table. Yep. James McPhail, the TMO. No one injured. Hit the bit of a clash. Referee looking at the big screen right now. There were arms trying hey, to. Hey, Joe, I have a decision. Yes, Jimmy. I can, can, I can confirm there is foul play with a high degree of danger with direct contact to the head yep. from number three, Fiji. 
Yes. Uh, rec recommendation? Yeah, red card. Thank you. Number three. It's a red Number card three. for Jeremiah Matana. Yeah, yeah. Direct contact, high danger. He can't quite believe it by the look on his face, but he will play no further part in this game, and that will go to the judiciary. 28 points up. I wouldn't say that's in danger, but uh, with a whole half to play, well, they've still got to survive this half yet. Penalty to come. 10 metres, 10 metres. Six on seven. And they want to scrum, of course they do. They want to isolate defenders. Yeah, you have to be very careful defensively in the modern game, as we know. You have to attempt to tackle low. If you go in high with force, Crouch. and there's contact to the head, you know you're going to be the yellow card at a minimum. No mitigation. It's a red card Set. for Matsana. Oh, there's no doubt. Rugby's trying to lower the tackles. Yeah, big story that in the UK at the moment with the community game. But a chance here for Tonga to try and hit back. Seven on six, but... Running over the sideline, Samoa Falau, and that's an opportunity missed for Tonga. The invitational side up against it against six man Fiji, trailing 28 points to nil at half time. Okay, it was quite a debut for New Zealand Sevens for Peyton Spencer. Here he is with Sean Maloney. Well, Peyton Spencer, welcome to the show. How was that? <laughs> it was incredible, you know, to play in front of all these people. You know, it's incredible just playing this kind of stadium around, around with the with the brothers out there. It was me. Give us some background. Give us some insight. How old are you? What's the? Give us a quick run out, a quick snapshot on why uh, there's such a buzz about your debut just now. Um, 18 years old. Um, from from obviously from New Zealand. Yeah. But I haven't played much sevens. You know, I've mainly played 15s. So to get this opportunity to to play sevens and be in that professional environment straight away is it's pretty incredible. And Dad Carlos said he hadn't given you any advice ahead of this weekend. Who has been giving a hand ahead of this debut? Um, obviously all the boys in there and the coaches. Yeah, but, but Mum and Dad have stayed out of it quite a lot. Hey, two tries. So here's to plenty more to come. Welcome. Great having you here. Thank you. Appreciate that. Go well, mate. Great to see him on the series, Peyton Spencer. As Fiji come together, four tries to the good. Fiji leading Tonga, 28 points to nil in Pool D. This is the round one again. It's a three-day event here in Sydney. They're doing it the right way in the HSBC hot seats. Bit of corporate for you this weekend, Greg Mars? I wouldn't think so. I'll leave it to the bananas. So I saw they were eating nachos, which is quite an interesting choice. <laughs> Plenty of people here on the Friday. And if you just joined us, Fiji, only six players on the field. They've had a red card. Yeah, Jeremiah Masana, high tackle. Automatic red card, and they will play the remainder of this match with six players on the field. Can Tonga take advantage? Back. Loose pass. John Ika can't hold on to it. It's into the hands of Mai Samoa, one of those four tries. Scorers for Fiji in the first half, and he's going to run it in for number five. He absolutely stood up Pakalani by the sideline. Making a mockery of the mathematical advantage that Tonga uh, have. First in defence to make the turnover. And then my Samoa turned him inside out. He had two defenders around him. Have a look at that. They've got him covered. They've got him covered. Oh, no, the panic created in the eyes. And gone, my Samoa. You saw his fleet of foot last week, and it's occurred again. Look at those heels as he clips himself over. Try time. They go on with it. Fiji are here this weekend. Yeah, even with six, they ain't bad. Extra couple from in front as well. What a series he's having so far. Is Manueli my Samoa. This is just his eighth event all time. There you go. Power play for Tonga, but it's Fiji who get the points. Four 
Thualalo. Good break in midfield and the offload as well. And the numbers paying dividends now for Tonga. Over the top to Masi. He's got support should he need it. He decides to ride the tackle. He ignored Tapulel Eluelu, but here is a carry from Masi again. They pick, they go, and they finally score. It's Laulea Mao for Tonga with their opening try at the Sydney Sevens. Oh, thank goodness they scored because Masi had uh, a man outside him unmarked, did not even look. And this is what happened. They've got an extra man, so therefore what you got to do is hang on to the ball and eventually the opportunity to have. Surely the man on his outside was calling, but he wanted nothing of it. But then eventually the Fijians ran out of defenders and the try became inevitable. Well, they overturned a 14-point deficit when they beat Great Britain and Hamilton last week, Tonga, to win that pool game. You're not suggesting? I'm just saying they have produced a comeback in recent times. They're, they're on the board. That's a start. 35-7. It's going to be for white miracle stuff. But you just never know. Yeah, the Fijians did have seven on the field there. Well, famously, New Zealand had eight on eight on the field okay. here in a final against <laughs> Australia in 2018, when Australia won both the men's and women's events. There was a bit of controversy, as I recall, back a few years ago. You'll see Mathenathangi just going off from the far side, up the top of the screen. So, yeah, they're playing with six here. Here is my Samoa. Two tries already. Be quite something if he could score a hat-trick when they're playing with six. There's Joshua Vakarunam. Billy is out there in the number one shirt. Enormous man. 112 kg, six foot five, Olympic gold medalist. And, and that's the problem. When you've only got six on the field, you don't want to go to the breakdown. You haven't got enough people to get over the ball, clean out. So they'll want to just keep throwing at Fiji. Mathena Thungi on the left of your screen, he still hasn't quite left the field. He does things in his own time, does Sebu. Sit. 35-7, Fiji leading Tonga. Just over three minutes to go, and a, it's a breakaway from Bukayaro. Plenty of Fijian support here. And that's a fine solo effort. Pilipo, Bukayaro. Oh, that's two from the base of the scrum, Bukayaro. The first half, he challenged them, and he had to throw a dummy here. Threw nothing. It was just in his head. He heard the starter's gun, and he took off, and no one else knew they were in the race until it was too late. Pukiaro, he can see on the big, big screen that he's going to win it easily. Slams it down. Dominance, Fiji. Plays for the army in Fiji. As Bukiaro actually scored the try that sealed the Rugby World Cup of Sevens in Cape Town last year. He's been wonderful at the base of the scrum. That's two tries. Yeah, that's his game. They're easy ones. You think with six players on the field, Tonga would be able to find a way to defend that with the one player advantage. But even after the Matana red card, the team in red have not been able to make much headway. <laughs> Penalty. There's Jerry Tuwai, who's off the bench and out there, and number 30, the great man. Yeah, I think the Fijian fans have just spotted him. The only player ever to win two Olympic gold medals. Backed up Rio and Tokyo last year. And they tap and they go quickly to Fiji. You can hear the cheers every time they get close to the try line. Two I thinks about kicking. He has got all the tricks, although that pass slightly loose. But oh, the offload out the back from my Samoa. That was gorgeous. Number seven. Nandavalu. Yeah, I think it was Nandavalu who took advantage of my Samoa. Have a look at this right, right hand flick. Don't worry about the call, just ESP and jogged it in. Because my Samoa had been the one who sucked in the two defenders. And it is Nandavalu. Still dominant. To be winning penalties, to be winning breakdowns with six men. 
He had an amazing start to his career, this guy, as a rookie in Singapore. On debut last year, scored 11 tries. Not many easier than that one. He calls himself the water boy because he took him so long to break into the team. 47-7. Fiji. Seconds almost out here. Coming up next, France against Japan in this pool D. There's the mark. Defending champions here at the Coach. Sydney Sevens are going to have one last opportunity to add to their score line. Looking to break the 50 point mark here. And it, it could tell a little bit into their psychology for the weekend what they do, whether they boot it into touch or have a go. Tell you what, Nanduba's out here. Here he is in 35. Scored an amazing try when this event was held out in Western Sydney while this stadium was being rebuilt. Short ball to Jerry Two Eyes, run out of real estate. Chest pass over the top. Easy does it. Nanduvalu finishes it off. And that's why we love you, Fiji. Nanduvalu. He's the recipient of the easiest of eight meter jobs. Why would you bother? You're already up by 47 to 7. And then this occurs. You have a go. You're up against seven men when you've only got six. Jerry Two Eye, brilliant. Nanduvalu. Two stroll overs in the last minute for two tries. Fiji dominant. He might have lost a, a half a yard of pace. Oh, how dare you. Jerry too, I that he's just got all court game does the double Olympic champion. So conversion, 52-7 Fiji over Tonga.